What's up, everybody? It's Eonk here, and welcome to a Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Young play. In the previous episode, we completed Mission 4, which was uh, C2W. Please and today, what I want to do is take some time to do some of the side quests here. We only got two, so this shouldn't take too long. But before we do that, I do want to make sure... We have developed everything we can Please develop. So we got some lethal weapons here, none of which I need right now. Um, in terms of buddy project. equipment, I've, I've only got one buddy, the horse. And uh, honestly, I'm not going to use the horse much uh, in the later stages of the game. So this is probably as far as I'll take it in terms of his tech tree. So that's that. And the helicopter, I'll be upgrading quite a bit. A in the foreseeable future when things start unlocking. Uh, the helicopter can be quite useful when it comes to uh, getting some support uh, when you're in a pinch or when you want to just uh, uh, arrive at a landing zone that is dangerous and you just want to blast shit up and you want the helicopter to uh, be able to hold its own. You are going to need some armor, some weaponry here, so uh, I'm definitely going to upgrade the chopper. But uh, I'm, I'm set. Uh, let's just uh, dive right into a mission. And in, a tr in terms of cassette tapes, uh, I've decided to play these at the very end of an episode. So that way I can sort of make it optional for those who may not necessarily want to stick around for cassette tapes. Uh, I think last episode I just played them at the beginning and I think that irked a few people. So what I'll do is do gameplay stuff and then at the very end I'll do cassette tapes for those who want to stick around that. So, uh, yep, let's do some side ops and then dive into mission Please 5. Mission. Uh, so, what do we have here? Secure the Riot SMG blueprint. Let's Please go ahead and do that first. Should be simple enough. Um, in terms of equipment, I'm good. I do want to use the new sneaking suit here, the uh, Ground Zeroes sneaking suit. It does provide uh, noise dampening souls that eliminate the sound of footsteps, so... That's definitely something useful to have. And I'm good to go. Let's dive right into it. And then uh, following this one, I think I have to... What was the next side mission? Was it extract something or eliminate something? Extract a soldier or, or uh, eliminate a soldier? I don't know, whatever. We'll take care of it later. We are back in Afghanistan, and there is the enemy base we are going to infiltrate. Should be familiar, we have been there before. Okay, so tags, one or two targets. Uh -huh. Okay, missed a couple as well. Wait, might be able to tag some people. No? Guess not. Okay, well. It is what it is. We'll tag him later. Be careful down there, Actually, let's just uh, stay up here and scout around a bit. Analysis complete. Um, yeah, a lot of them are probably hidden behind obstacles. Analysis so, complete. Some dude over here. What else? That's pretty much it, it seems. Yeah, I don't know. I can't see anybody else. I don't want to waste time with... Or too much time with uh, this mission. I'm just going to go in there and... Uh, do whatever it is that I got to do. And now that I have this sneaking suit on, I can, like, sprint and run and... Move relatively quickly without the enemies... Uh, hearing me, so that's a good advantage to have. Uh, but I don't want to sprint too much because they can still see me. The security forces must know something about the targets. After you grab or hold up an enemy, try interrogating them. I will do just that. Good suggestion. I do have a translator under my belt, so. Analysis complete. Shouldn't be too difficult. 
to interrogate. Hello, dumbass. There we go. Where are the others? Okay, so we got this guy. Oh, nice. He tagged a bunch of guys for me. That's convenient. All right. Let's see what's in here first before we take care of these guys. Um, not much. Okay. Well, let's keep moving. Nope. Too late. All right. Uh, we got that guy over there. I don't like him. I think we should take care of him right now. So he doesn't give us trouble later. Voila. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who saw me? Oh, this asshole. Thinks he's so clever. Oh, shit. There we go. Take care of this light. Don't like it. Oh, we got a Jeep here. Wish I could Fulton it. Eh. Oh well. Let's see. Yeah, I want to interrogate as many people as I can. You never know what they can tell you. In terms of uh, equipment and stuff. Oh, okay. So uh, somebody spotted... Yeah, these guys spotted something. Should probably take care of them. And also, I will recruit all of them. Right now, I could use as much manpower as I can possibly get my hands on. Bam. There we go. Oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> Missed that one. Take a chill pill, homie. Alright, so diamonds. Alright, let's get... Actually, let's scan him a bit. Okay, well, he's pretty shitty, but... Again, could use anyone at this point. Analysis complete. Oops, somebody saw that, I think. Based on the music. You gotta extract him. Talk. Okay, somebody said who? Like a dumbass. Probably up there somewhere. Oh wait, it's that guy. Lols. Analysis He's out. complete. What's up, homie? Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Where are your friends? Okay, good stuff. Thank you. Can I fold some these yet? Nope. Okay, take care of that. Oh, we got this guy here. He's coming too. Roger that. Blah 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 blah. Shut up. Dumbass. Okay. Spit it out. Thank you. Right, so the blueprints as well as some stashed materials. We got a lot of stuff to loot, so we're gonna have to take our time. Okay. Thank you. Get out. Let's bolt in these guys right now. Better now than later. Okay, what else? That thing here? He's coming too. There you go. Roger that. Now this is what I'm talking about. Complete darkness. Right. Uh did I interrogate him? Talk. Okay, I think I did. If you neutralize an enemy without killing him, you can then Fulton extract him. Once we've extracted a soldier, we should be able to convince him to join us. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. Speak. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Alrighty. Let's go up there, retrieve what we came here to get. Find the stash of things that we were told about. He's coming too. Roger that. That's that. And that's it for this side mission. Side off. Um, damn, it's a lot of check marks. There might be somebody up here, so I'm gonna be careful. Like inside uh, the building. Maybe I should. 
Okay, that didn't do anything, so I think we're good. Blue Prince, where are you? Rough diamond. Here, maybe? Oh, there we go. Hello, hello? Now, where's the blueprint? There's some other stuff around here. Maybe this is a good time to use my night vision goggles, because I really can't see much. saturated. Yeah, once you upgrade the night vision goggles, they'll be better and under any kind of condition. Okay, let's go downstairs, I think. That's where a good portion of the stash might be placed. There we go. Some stuff here. Common metal. And where's the blueprint, though? Oh, okay, so rough diamond power system. Oh, that's where the blueprint is. Okay, so let's marker placed. Marker placed. This stuff marker first placed. and then get to the blueprint. I don't need that. That's the power system and the rough diamond here. You have arrived at your destination. Wait, what? Oh, man, that old. Wait, what? This check mark is for a rough diamond. Okay, so there is a rough diamond here somewhere. Or is it upstairs? Oh, there we go. Found you. All right. What else we got? Okay, these lights. Okay. So some diamonds. Oh, okay, yeah. You can usually find them down here under uh, these little bridges. 100,000, look at that. And something in here, apparently. You have arrived at your destination. There we go. Common metal. Good stuff. What else we got? Uh, some gun, gun emplacement. So, a rough diamond here. Blueprint Marker there. Placed. And we're done. With this side off. You have arrived at your destination. So the diamond should be here. There we go. What else? Nothing else? Yep. And finally, the blueprint. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. You have arrived at your destination. Oh, there it is. Well, side up. Side up. List updated. Could be just what we need to develop Extraction new weapons and equipment. At base. Oh, and some uh, extra materials here. I'll take it. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And proceed to our next side off. Nothing in here, I think. Might have checked this place already. Yep, nothing in here. Alright, let's keep moving. There is a D horse. Man, so slow. Now, a neat trick that a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments was that I could just use the Phantom Cigar and... Voila. So, uh, I mean, that time, uh, Pequod was pretty close by anyway, but for any other time I could just do that. And for some reason I never thought of that. Uh, that's weird, but, uh, good tip. It actually helps out. But still, the ride back can not still be a bit, uh, a bit long. You gotta wait for this, you know. I, I, there's no button to just go in and depart. You gotta, like, wait five seconds. And then wait for all this to happen. And uh, eventually, you just, you know, I'll get on with it. It just takes a bit too long. But it's still really cool, this sequence here, where you get to watch yourself uh, departing. departing from the area. 
Okay. Extraction one side up down. One more to go. And there's like a ton of these, so do expect a lot of uh, side op episodes. Side ops list updated. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so yeah, this one was the one that I was gonna do next. So we'll do two side ops right now, and then because it's gonna keep updating as I uh, keep doing these side ops. So I, if I, you know, I'll just stay stuck here forever if I just keep doing side ops. So I'll do two, uh, and then I'll do mission five, and then I'll do you know as many other side ops as I can, and that's the plan. So. Uh, let's extract the highly skilled Please soldier. Oh wow, zone. that is really far away. Yeah, I guess I'll uh, start from here. Wait, there's an outpost. There's an outpost no matter which landing zone I choose, but this one seems the safest. Let's do it. And I think there is probably some kind of um, radar there that I could destroy so, I, so my chopper can land closer to that location, and that should be convenient for any future missions that I may have involving that area, so might as well take care of it now. Uh, so yeah, nothing to change really. Deploying. Let's do it. And Dehor should get me there pretty quickly. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, I hope. Alright. There we go. Does. Damn, look at that place. It's huge. We'll probably uh, get there eventually, soon. In uh, one of the missions or side offs or what have you. Be careful down there, boss. Flowers. And one more over here. One more over here. Alright, let's mark the map to wherever it is that we need to go here, it seems. So we gotta extract some kind of highly skilled soldier. Seems simple enough. Let's do it. Now, there is an outpost along the way, so uh, we have to watch out. Shouldn't be too difficult to get past. And again, I do need to recruit soldiers, so uh, the more I can encounter, the more I can recruit, the better. This might take a while, but it'll be worth it. It's gonna be a long trip, but well, not too long. We're already 800 meters away, and the force is pretty fast. Extraction arrived at the database. All right. By the way, this is useful, setting it in uh, nav mode, navigation mode, basically GPS mode. Ah, there's an outpost that way. I don't know if I should, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mind it at all. Analysis oh, there is a cassette tape there, uh, a music cassette tape, so hell yes. Analysis I am complete. infiltrating this place Analysis and complete. getting what is mine. Analysis okay, complete. So those four should be it. From the looks of it. And then we also got those things. The materials. So yeah, this is gonna be worth it. Let's do it. You know what? I want to make this quick. Uh, might as well just see if we can snipe them from here. He's gonna faint eventually. There we go. Now that's gonna attract their attention. Take care of this guy. Take care of this guy. 
And then my way this way and Bam Sucker. You like that slow motion, Bam Sucker? Trademark. Uh, let's recruit these guys. Let's ask them some questions. Okay, so this guy is a specialist. That guy. Wait, which, which guy? Oh, that guy, there we go. Okay. Uh, so that guy is uh, done for. What about you, buddy? Give me some info. Where are your friends? Okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Man, these guys are so shit. These, like, really, dude? What have you been doing with your life? Extract him. Spit it out. Where are your friends? All right, one more. The specialist. All right, buddy. What you gotta say to me. Spit it out. Where are the others? He's coming too. Roger that. Okay. Oh. Welcome to Diamond Dogs. Movies. All right, what song is this? Ride a white horse. <laughs> that's uh. You gotta extract That's funny. Because I do ride a white horse. I see what you did there, Kojima-san. Alright, I think I've done everything here. Let's keep moving. Come hither, my stallion. Where is he? Oh, hello. Alright, we are 400 meters away, pretty close by. Whoa, whoa. What is that? Oh, just, uh, animals. Let's recruit them. There we go. So, that's that. Now, the iDroid said uh, development projects added. I wasn't looking. Let's look at the log here. Uh, oh, Riot SMG and H Rocket. Alright, keep that in mind. Oh, some douchebag over here. Okay, you know what? Actually, d horse you are perfectly placed right now. Let's take care of these guys, actually. Right here, right now. I'll watch this. Oh, shit. Some more. Whatever. Shut up, bitch. Nice. Okay. Oh, we got a B. Hello, my friend. Wow. Good stuff. Highly skilled soldier. Where? Oh, so your other dude is a highly skilled soldier. Why? Let's look at him. Analysis complete. So, you know, he's also a bee, but he's got more bees than most people, so I'll take him. Hello, buddy. He's coming too. Roger that. Where are the others? Okay, sweet. Man, I really want to fold in it, but we'll just leave it here for now. Some more uh sheep or goats, whatever they may be. You gotta extract him. I didn't uh, hit him with my trank. No, I did. He'll fall asleep eventually. Bye, I'm sucker. That's right. Fall asleep. Fall asleep. What are you doing? Let's do it. Come to Papa. Welcome to Diamond Dogs. Our new home. Where's the other guy? There we go. Welcome to Diamond Dogs. Alright, so he should be, I think, like, in this outpost. Let's order some supplies right here. Supplies requested. Because uh, I don't have enough Fultons. I am running out of suppressors. 
definitely gonna need some, uh... Wait, what the hell? Oh, he's high up on a mountain or something. Oh, uh, okay, I think he's a sniper or something like that. Hell, look at this. Supply drop some big-ass facility over here. I'm sure we'll get to that later. Don't wanna... Actually, yeah, let's, let's look for the radar. Once I do this side up, I'm gonna look for the radar that'll unlock sort of, uh, uh... This area. So that I can fly in here much easier. Because, yeah, I can't, like, fly anywhere here because there are a bunch of, uh, of those satellite, uh, anti-air satellite thingies. Okay, so to get up there, I think I have to go around this way. Yep. Climb the hill here. And then hold him up. Gotta be careful, though. They might spot me. Okay. Metal Gear. Okay, bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, look at that. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. He's a what? He's a he's a C. What what do you mean highly skilled soldier? Such bullshit. Okay. Anyway. Analysis complete. Okay, all right. How do I do this? Sneaky enough, I should be able to knock them out without one noticing the other. I hope. Look at that. That's right. Don't fight it. And then I take this guy out. And then BAM, sucker! Good stuff. Okay. Not bad at all. Uh, let's see if. Uh, I have any good info. Where are your friends? We got a specialist here, huh? Yes, we do. So, oh, uh, so he's the specialist. So I guess it's less about uh, the stats, the ability stats, and more about him being the specialist. Leave the rest to us. Whereas right now he's nothing special, nothing worth. Mortar. Yeah, well. Side op. Side op. Yeah, I can extract that. He's coming too. Roger is uh, arrived at multiple levels. High enough of level. But whatever. We'll get there eventually. The map has been used. I'm sorry, boss, but the extraction failed. Wait, what? The support unit Project just isn't skilled enough. Added. If you want to increase the success rate of Fulton extractions in bad weather, you need to improve the support unit. Alright, whatever. As long as I got the the side op guy. That was completed, right? I Yeah, okay. So that's all I care about. The other guy can die. For all I care. Fall off the sky, whatever it is that happens. That was great. Okay, so let's go in there, look for the satellite thing, blow it up with a grenade. The hell out of there. So where is that thing? Um, there's a jeep there. Don't need that. Okay. I will find it. Eventually. I mean, it's fairly easy to spot. Analysis complete. Well, it should be at least. Okay, let's go around this way. Okay, well, I'll have to go up the. the Crack here. And hopefully, I'll find it. Again, it's a sort of a long term kind of uh, thing that I want to do here. You know, looking forward. It's somewhat inconvenient right now, but it'll be a lot convenient in the future. And what is this? 
nothing of interest, really. Satellite thing, click that again in the line here. Okay. So this place looks heavily fortified, so I gotta be careful. Where is it? Maybe I should interrogate some guards. What's in here? Oh, hello. I'll take you. There, let's not mind him. Analysis. Oh, okay, he's got some C's. I could use that right now. Oh, nice. Good shot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who the hell? Oh, this guy. Analysis complete. He's so clever. Okay, so this is not it. No satellite on top. Let's see, let's question him. Come on, dude. Give it to me. Where are the others? Okay, so that's the specialist. Sure, you saw that. Same with this guy. You gotta extract him. What? Analysis complete. Okay. Come on, dudes. One of you's gotta know where it is. Might be in the building itself. That'd be awkward if it was. This is pretty heavily fortified. But, uh, you know, if you gotta go in there and, uh,. They waste Something everyone? No, away. I'll do it. Leave the rest to us. The dude's coming this way. Hello? Oh, what? Oh, shit. I missed that. Okay. Where are your friends? So, okay, some rough diamonds. Oh, wait, shit. The map has been extraction failed. Yeah, I get it. I drive. Ninety percent. Not good. Analysis complete. Yeah, I think it's in here somewhere. Extraction failed. Oh man, sucks to be that guy. He dead. Looks like that fall killed him. <laughs> oh well. Satisfy either way. Oh, there it is. Hello. All right. Still want to question him, see what we can find around here. Where are your friends? Okay, well, thank you for that. He's coming too. That. Also, I should take care of that guy, because uh, he's... I've tranked him quite a while ago, and he might wake up soon. So, uh, I want to take care of that guy right now. Extraction. Hey, bruh. Uh, looks like that fall killed him. Jesus, 90%? Yeah, right. More like 40%. Half the guys are dying. Okay, he made it? No? You gotta extract Okay, thank you. Jesus. Oh shit. Bitch, please. Come on, come on. You wanna do this? You wanna do this? Yeah, what's up? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh. Oh, this guy. Man, you guys are... Just chill for like two seconds, guys. Yeah, I don't know if I want to like... Because I'll be back here, definitely. I know that. It's just... Um... Like, there's a bunch of stuff here, but I don't know if it's worth it. You yeah, destroyed their right anti-air radar? It wasn't one of the targets. I I'll get detected. And hole in their air but I don't know. Should we try? The chopper will be able to get in close now. You can designate a landing zone near the outpost. 
Looks like a lot of the stuff is here upstairs. You know what? I'm just gonna kill him. What? Yeah, say that again. That's what I thought. So some stuff in here. You have arrived. Stuff. Your resources and common metal. Something over here. You have arrived at your destination. Stuff. Marker removed. Rough diamond. Marker okay. placed. We'll get that right now. Don't want to run too much. You might see me. Okay, so it's here. You have arrived at your destination. Down here, maybe. Oh, hello. I see you. Okay, we got this guy here. I'm here, though, my friend. Let's just extract them. Do I have Fulton's left? I have two, exactly two. How convenient. That's a sign right there. One of them might die though. Okay, what up with the alarm? I think that means sandstorms approaching. Subject on board. Yep. That's convenient for me. Looks like that fall killed him. Whatever. Sandstorms effectively make you blind and deaf. That goes for the enemy too. Use the situation to your advantage. Okay. Two things down here. Well, that was good. Okay, so in here somewhere. Something. You have arrived at your destination. What exactly is here? Processed materials. So the next room. Yep. Hello, hello. Good stuff. All right, what else? You have arrived oh, your destination. this right here. Nice. Yeah. So, um, you know, this is maybe tedious on your end, but it's definitely a necessity. We want to build up our base. You have arrived Make it awesome. We need all this stuff, and uh, you know. Might as well take care of it now. While we can. Anything here? Look at that. More uh, materials. Processed materials. So this room doesn't look uh, very... Doesn't look like a happy place, so... Let's get the, get the hell out of here. Yeah, I think we're done here. It's called a chopper. Which we can do close by now, now that we have taken care of... Uh, this little satellite station. Support helicopter Roger. requested. And now. <laughs> easy peasy. Good stuff. Somebody's shooting. I think it's the chopper trying to lay down some cover fire against the uh, soldiers. Oh, whoa, shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's take care of this guy right now. He might destroy me. Did I nail him? Okay, oh shit, smoking. Don't, don't you die on me, damn it. Don't you die on me, damn it. Oh, God. I think. Right, yeah, okay. Jesus. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. But we got a, a lot out of out of that actually, so um, you know that was certainly uh, a lot more time in the field than I expected, but worth it. Side ops list updated. So more side ops. What a surprise. Um, so yeah, we did uh, these two now, and I think that's what, where I'll leave it at today. And to finish off this episode, let's just. Uh, dive into some cassette tapes for those who are not into that you know this is a good time to i guess uh, tune out but uh you know look forward to the next episode but if you're still here with me let's see uh what the story of this game has to offer so afghanistan today 
Christmas Eve, 1979, the Soviet Union rolled into Afghanistan. Muslims had revolted against the Soviet-friendly regime established the year before. So this before. is just history lesson, the basically. The forces could no longer contain it themselves, so the Soviets went in to intervene. The Afghan government was powerless and fraught with infighting. They lost the hearts and minds of the people, and that alarmed the Soviet leadership. With the Islamic Revolution happening in Iran, the Soviets felt they had to act fast or risk the spread of Islamic revivalism. A superpower sending a motorized rifle division against men on horseback with antique rifles. Everyone thought it'd be over in an instant. Only it wasn't. Some Muslims made their fight a jihad, a holy war, and began a guerrilla campaign on all fronts. A war of attrition. These fighters call themselves Mujahideen. I know them. They're being supported by the West through Pakistan. That's why Miller was involved. He was training them near the Zero Line, sponsored by the CIA. The war has become a nightmare for the Soviet troops stationed here. They thought they'd be headed home in six months at the most. Then a year passed. Two years. Now here we are four years on with no exit in sight. <laughs> Afghanistan has become the Soviet Union's Vietnam. The Soviet troops on the ground want to go home, but at least they have homes to go back to. The Afghans have lost theirs. The Soviets destroy the Kishloks, villages, wherever they can. They burn down homes and fields, fill in wells, turn pastures into minefields. It's created a mass of refugees who fled to Pakistan. If the Mujahideen are fish swimming around the villages, the Soviets will go so far as to dry out their ocean. But this has had a big price. There's bitter resentment among the Afghans, and they're taking out their anger on the soldiers on the front lines. Among the Mujahideen are the Pashtun people. They're fiercely devoted to their code of Badal, or revenge. Of course. The Soviets they've captured have had their hands, feet, and noses cut off before being left to die at the side of the road. Wait, that right there sounds a lot like, uh, I don't know, like a Grey Fox story kind of thing. You know what I mean? Just to show their comrades which Among the Mujahideen are the Pashtun people. They're fiercely devoted Soviets they've captured have had their hands, feet, and noses cut off before being left to die at the yeah, side of I the mean. road. Well, just to show their comrades it's a little more extreme capable. than what they did to Grey Fox, but... Friendlies who come across them can do nothing but put them out of their misery. Yeah, then the they nose burn part. down another village in retaliation. And the cycle of vengeance goes on. Yeah, I mean, as I've mentioned in a previous episode, they use the word revenge, vengeance, thirst for revenge, lust for revenge, like a little too much to the point where it gets a little like, okay, we get it. We get that the theme of this game is revenge. Um, but, you know, then again, uh, Kojima's never been known for subtlety, but still, you know. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't ruin anything, I'm just saying. It's just something that I noticed. But, um, not a, not a huge deal. Okay, so Afghanistan today, number two. This war. The Kremlin never expected to have this much trouble against the Mujahideen. Afghanistan is a tribal society. Tradition demands that its people stand up to any outsiders who set foot on their land. With the honor of their people at stake, they have everything to fight for. No matter how hard the Soviets hit them, they continue to appear out of nowhere, striking back, then vanishing again. But there's one thing even the Mujahideen fear. Every last one of them. The Soviet gunships. They're highly maneuverable and equipped with massive firepower. Plus, the underside of the fuselage is heavily armored. The Mujahideen can barely scratch them with their small arms. Anyone who hangs around gets mowed down by the gunship's heavy machine guns. This new honeybee weapon that was given to the Hamid fighters, it's no doubt something to help them strike back against the gunships, hmm. which makes it a weapon that could change the course of the war. Uh, for those who don't know, the honeybee weapon is one of the missions that's coming up. I think it's mission six, so something to keep in mind. Known as Mujahideen. Those guerrilla fighters known as Mujahideen don't actually belong to a single organization. Afghanistan is a multi-ethnic country. You've got the Pashtuns, the Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hazaras, and each of them is split into their own tribes, large and small. 
Each ethnicity has several rebel organizations that their various tribes gather under. They're united under the banner of Jihad, but that doesn't mean they work like a single standing army. Just look at the area around Smasi Fort. A lot of Tajiks used to live there, but they fled after the Soviets started their scorched earth campaign. With the area uninhabited, the Hamid fighters who are Pashtun decided to move in. The Hamids are based out of the city of Peshawar. We passed through it on the western edge of Pakistan. The Pashtun people have long lived in Afghanistan and western Pakistan. They used to travel back and forth frequently. Then Britain went and established the border that still stands today. The Hamid fighters get generous support from the Pakistani government. The government wants to use them to secure influence over Afghanistan. Their liaison with the Hamids is Inner Services Intelligence, and behind the ISI, you have the CIA. That's probably how the honeybee ended up in the hands of the Hamid men. Yeah, that, that was a mouthful. Yeah, like Troy Baker said in a couple of his interviews, Ocelot talks a lot here. I mean, he has a lot of history lessons to give, a lot of which just, you know, just a lot of uh, these terms and uh, acronyms and stuff. But, uh, you know, you get the relative idea, the, the, the lay of the land, uh, so to speak. You get the general idea for what's going on. But uh, some of the specifics can be a little difficult to understand, for me personally. Um, but anyway... So, uh, ch -ch -ch. How, how long do we have? Uh, it's already been like 45 minutes into this Yong play. I think I will, uh... I'll listen to... Okay, let's see how long these are. Are these long? You guys know what? Maybe this is a good place to end it. This episode, it's, it's been going on for a while now, and I don't want it to drag on, so... I'll listen to this set uh, in the next episode, so with that, I would like to end this episode of the Metal Gear Solid V, the Phantom Pain Yong play. Thank you for tuning in. Next episode, we will tackle uh, Mission 5, so look forward to that. Tell your friends, your families, your neighbors about the series if you're enjoying it, and uh, I will uh, see you guys next time. Yong out!